Okay, we got a uh, Raymond 750 and the complaint from the customer is an intermittent 4B and a G4 code which concerns the uh, power steering which is right here and of course the steering module which is in the back right there. So right now my meter is hooked up likely to the negative terminal post which is T4 and this guy right here which is the uh, fuse right after the steer contactor right here so this is where we hooked up right now this is the uh, contactor that provides power to the steer amplifier all right so I'm gonna look at it right now I see 0.2 volts right now and key on let's see let's see what happens key on no problem, still see the two volts, 0.2 actually, and then we step on the dead man to operate the steer contactor. Steer contactor now, still no code, now it comes up. The code now is G4. As you can see, there's no movement, nothing. Okay, key off again, you see the 37, 36 volts right now. 34 is dropping down. Steer contactor has been uh, has been turned off, right? It's open right now, but we see the 31 volts is dropping. And then we key off again, and then we key on right after. Let me show you the uh, voltage now. Still at 28, dropping 27. All right. Key on, and right after the key on, what you see. Is a code 4B. And the 4B is a steer contactor detected close when commanded open. Open the VM detected. More than 10 volts, right? When the steer contactor coil was de energized. Okay. As you can see, we have more than 10 volts, but the steer contactor is still open. So, steer motor has been already been uh, replaced, it's been swapped. The steer contactor tips has been replaced to no avail. We still have that, as you can see, 19 volts. So the question is, where is that 19 volts, 27 volts coming from? So it is coming from the steer amplifier. So more likely that steer amplifier has a capacitor inside. And normally you should have a way to discharge the capacitor when you key off. And right now, What's happening is that capacitor is discharging through the meter. We're gonna wait for this until it goes to less than 10 volts. And then we're gonna key on again. And more likely what we're gonna see is the 4B code goes away again. Okay, so after some time of discharging through the meter, now you see the voltage has gone down to like six volts. Uh, apparently this system it's not totally correct that it's just detecting more than 10 volts. So I tested it at like 9 volts and it's still giving out the code. Uh, 8 volts still giving out the code. So now it's dropped down to like 5 volts. We're going to test it again and see. Okay, key on. Self-test. Okay, code went away. But the voltage now is 5.3. Okay, so the way it looks like is it needs to be at least less than six volts for the code to go away. But once I step on the dead man, more likely than not, the uh, G4 is gonna come up now. I step on the dead man, steer contactor is gonna kick in, all right? Okay, step on the dead man, steer contactor is kicked in, and now you see a G4 code. Okay, so. It's not going to be the motor. Motor's already been replaced, right? It's not going to be the steer contactor. You see it keying off, and now you see the 36 volts again. There's only one possibility for this, and that's going to be the steer amplifier. All right, so unfortunately, there's no repairing that steer amplifier because it's a sealed unit. Okay, so right now, we're going to replace that steer amplifier and do the testing. All right, so we replaced the uh, steer amplifier. That's ready put on. Same connections here, 
uh, we're checking it out right now without even keying on we are at 1.8 volts so that should be good let's key on okay no problem there right now it's staying at 1.8 uh, volts all right let's step on the dead man now we reach 37 no code let's try to steer Okay, everything's working. Okay, so let's try to key off again. All right, so key off. It's gonna go down. 25, and it's slowly gonna discharge. So here's the thing. So if I key on again, key on again. See, once the main contactor kicks in, it already drops. To like five something volts which is less than 10 volts right so now we confirm well we already confirmed it because we replaced the uh, stereo amplifier and now it's fixed